Hi guys, I'm Charlie, Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is being hosted by Thoughts on Tomes. I will link her channel as well as the Goodreads group down below. The topic for today is your favorite non-canon ships. And believe me, believe it or not, I had quite a hard time finding my favorite non-canon ships. If you don't know what non-canon means, this is basically about all of the characters you would have wanted to pair up together, but they didn't end up together. So you can imagine there are being mentioned some spoilers. If you think roman uh, romantic relationships are spoilers in the book, then there are going to be some spoilers in this book. None of these books are full-on romance novels, so... I don't know, I would consider it spoilery, but maybe you don't and you just want to hear about it. But I want ya. The first one I wouldn't want to consider a spoiler, it is Nora and Scott from Night Film. This book is not about romance at all, there isn't even romance in this book. Um, but Scott is the main character in this book, he's a journalist, he is kind of researching this horror filmmaker called Cordova and he's becoming obsessed with this filmmaker again like he was before and then his wife left him and then he meets Nora and Hopper. Nora is a lot younger than he is but there, there was a scene in this that I thought I would have really liked them to pair up together, I think they could have been happy together but you know might have been a bit wrong because of the age gap between them, Nora was legal. I just would have really liked them together, I think. Scott could have really used a woman like Nora in his life. A bit impulsive, a bit childish sometimes, but still very fun to be around. The second one, I wouldn't consider a spoiler either because it is about the first book and I don't know how the series goes on after this. Um, I'm talking about Evie and Sam from The Diviners by Libba Bray. I've only read the first book, The Diviners, and obviously the first book is just a setup book, so there aren't really any romantic relationships at all. But I really like Sam. I, I thought he was, he was a, bit, a bit nonchalant, he was a bit indifferent, and just a charming bloke overall. Evie is really stubborn. She's a really different kind of main character and a lot of people actually dislike her but I thought Evie was such a breath of fresh air and I really enjoyed them together but there wasn't really any hints towards a romantic relationship except for the fact that they care about each other sort of but I would really like them to pair up together in one of the next books. The next one is also isn't a spoiler and you probably have never heard of this before. Except if you watch my channel for a longer time. I'm talking about Makoto and Kyoko from Danganronpa. And this is kind of... Um, this is not a spoiler, but this is kind of a, a cheat one for me. Because I played a video game, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And I've only read the first volume of the Danganronpa manga. There, you, there really wasn't anything you could have shipped them on based on the first manga, but having played the full video game, I really liked Makoto and Kyoko together because they interact a lot. And Kyoko is very mysterious. You don't really know anything about it throughout the whole game. Same with Makoto, actually. But Kyoko was the one who really caught my eye. This isn't a romance game, by the way. This is a game where, um, or story where ca the cats have to kill each other off to survive. And there really aren't any romantic relationships throughout the whole series. But I think if there were any romantic relationships, I would have liked Makoto and Kyoko to be together. Okay, this one, the next one is a romance series and it is a summer series by Jenny Han. So if you are, you are planning to read this series or you don't know, you might not want to listen on or you just might want to skip to the next book. I will put up my hands uh, until the spoilers are gone. I'm going to talk about it now. So in the second book of the summer series, there is, you obviously have Conrad and Jeremiah, and Jeremiah is the one that Belly, the main character, wasn't originally in love with. Belly was in love with Conrad for the first book, and for the sec in the second book, Conrad wasn't the guy she knew all along, he was kind of standoffish, and then there was Jeremiah, who was really sweet, and Belly fell in love with Jeremiah, Jeremiah fell in love with her. They had a relationship for most of the second book until they didn't anymore at the end of the second book or beginning of the third book. I think the end of the second book. 
and um, basically Belly ends up with Conrad again, but I like Jeremiah so much more than Conrad. I thought Conrad was so mean to Belly. I thought he genuinely, he genuinely wasn't a good guy. I like Jeremiah much more. And the last one isn't really a spoiler. Um, it is Zenobia and Zebdas from The Daughter of Sand and Stone by Libby Hawker. This isn't a spoiler because this is historical fiction. Zenobia has really existed, even though Zapdos wasn't really her romantic interest throughout history. Zapdos has really existed, but he wasn't her romantic interest. And this means Zenobia and Zapdos had a rom romantic relationship throughout this book, but they didn't end up together. And this book ends up very sadly. And I'll I love the way it ended, but I would have really liked to have Zapdos and Zenobia end up together because I think Zenobia was a very strong, independent, amazing woman and she deserved to have a love like she had with Zapdos for the rest of her life, but she didn't. So these are five of my favourite non-canon ships. Again, I had a very hard time thinking about this. I really had to go through my Goodreads list to find out about people I actually shipped together um, that didn't end up together. But these were some of my favorite non canon ships. I probably have more. I have a lot more in television, believe me. But I, yeah, I might do a video about it actually one day. Kind of spoilery, but okay. Anyway, let me know down below what some of your favorite non canon ships are. I would love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.